Well, I'm feeling pretty in pink. Or is this purple? <laughs> I dig these colors. I don't care. Uh, call me stuck in the 80s. But man, electric yellow, bright green. Those wild colors when MTV kicked ass. All those great 80s movies where people are at the beach and day glow. Uh, remember Oakley Blades? Um, God, what tattoo is it? Oh, you see this? I got this tattoo like in 1988. Do you see the Oakley Blades? They're, they're similar to the gargoyles that Arnold Schwarzenegger uh, wears in Terminator Part 1 in 1990. But yeah, the boobies and yeah, the, the Oakley Blades. And remember on the glasses, you could change the sides and the nose piece. And you know what? I'm I'm gonna see if they have some of those on eBay after I get done with this video. Maybe do a couple, a uh, couple with some cool shades. And do you remember the show Mannequin? Uh, do you remember the one guy? He had the big like star, like it was like an uh, a Paul Stanley, Eddie Van Halen type star on one eye. And uh, oh, I'm I'm trying. Well, oh, and Tom Cruise, Risky Business. Were those Var? Were those Varnays or Ray Bans? Remember when he goes? Sometimes you just gotta say. What the F? All right, those are probably the most famous sunglasses in my in my heyday, in my age group. But I think we all agree. <clears throat> the most famous sunglasses of all time, either Roy Orbison or Buddy Holly. What do you guys think? Because Buddy Holly, I mean, you know, and rest in peace to both. But when Buddy Holly uh, wrecked in Iowa, just a mile or two down the street from where my Draper family lived in Iowa, uh, when you go to the crash site, there's a big, uh, I guess you say it like a nice memorial, and it has a massive, uh, I don't know if you'd call it a statue, but but it's a display of Buddy Holly's glasses. So if you're watching this, uh, just go to Google and put uh, Buddy Holly Memorial in Iowa, and you'll see what I mean, just massive glasses. But yeah, I mean, I, I guess Buddy Holly, and then Roy Orbison with those black badass ones. And then from there, I don't know, I, I'd, I'd say Tom Cruise, he kind of took over with the, uh, I think those are Ray-Bans. And then that guy in Mannequin. And then, you know what, I think Arnold Schwarzenegger in The Terminator 1990. But I'm trying to think, who has the coolest glasses now? Except for me, okay? So I'm, I'm starting the trend right now, okay? Uh, these are custom, uh, they're called Fat. Here, they're called Fat... <laughs> It's kind of funny what they're called. Okay, can you see them? They're called fat heads. They're one inch wider than normal. Look at how wide they are. Because my head, I almost wear a triple X football helmet, motorcycle helmet. Usually a double X feels good, but oh my God, even a, a, a you know, but yeah, even my black glasses here. See, these are custom fat heads. You can see how wide they are. They're about one inch wider than any normal sunglasses, like whatever sunglasses you have right now, these are one inch wider. They're made for like Neanderthal, uh, cavemen, Cro-Magnum man people. I mean, I did a DNA search and my bloodline looks like I'm from oh, Slovenia, Slovakian or something like that. But I can palm a basketball. My arms are 48 inch wide. I wear a size 14. My skeleton's massive in my head. <laughs> but yeah, thank God for these fat head glasses. Because uh, I used to wear normal ones and they just make my ears bleed because they just saw on me for years and years. And then, oh, when the inventor or the guy or girl or company that came up with fat heads, oh, I love you a long time. So if you're a bigger person, and you just feel like your glasses are tiny and it makes your eyes look like almost cross-sided and weird. Like those John Lennon glasses that he always wore. Remember those? Uh, look up fat heads. And I'm not an affiliate. Okay, I don't get free glasses for each plug. Uh, but now and then I have, I have uh, people just say, what kind of glasses are you wearing? And I just say, man, these are fat heads, baby. And oh, they saved my life. Looking at this stupid ring light, you can always see uh, the reflection of the circle. Uh, otherwise, you got to look like this. Which makes me look kind of better. Kind of cooler, right? Kind of, kind of, maybe. All right. Or, hey, you light up my life like Debbie Boone in 1975. That's right. American Top 40 with Casey Kasem with Debbie Boone. You light up my life. And we had to hear that song every five minutes back then. And you know what's funny? I have not heard that song in, oh my God, 35, 40 years. So now I'm probably going to look up Buddy Holly's memorial after this video is done. And then on top of that, I'm probably going to go to YouTube. And listen to Debbie uh, Boone, You Light Up My Life. Okay, there's your homework. 
This is how to get leads to your business. Could be uh, the multiple income funnel. Could be uh, live good. All right. Storytelling. Maybe doing something interesting. Maybe something factual. Uh, maybe a little bit about your addiction to Hot Wheels or Legos. Or maybe you like uh, collecting. Why are they called clutches? I notice when I watch shows and when girls freak out about purses, they're called a clutch. Okay. I, I've, I've never heard that term until about like six months to a year ago. It's like, hey, nice clutch. And I, I have race cars. I always love manual. If I have a car, it has to be manual. All my trucks, automatics. But when I have a car, I like to shift. Four, five, six speed superchargers. I lower everything to, boom, got to put the cars down just a little bit. Not on the ground, but I like to lower everything. I think one to two inches uh, lowering looks good. Not in your pants, guys. It looks better if you can increase by two inches in your pants. Even when you wear pink mama hats. And I got this shirt. They're like five bucks at Walmart. And they're like real cotton. And I'm sure like, uh, like a 10-year-old probably had to slave 12 hours a day to make this t-shirt. <laughs> okay? But they're nice. And what I do is I cut the arms off, of course. I hate sleeves. For some reason, they touch my skin. And plus, it covers up this girl. Look. Her little Oakley blades are trying to sneak out. Look at that poor little girl. And, you know, this used to be just beautiful and colorful. Her lips had neon pink, glow-in-the-dark uh, tattoo ink. So when you get in those, you know, those black lights. Remember in the 70s, you'd have, like, the Skull, the Grim Reaper, Elvis. Remember those felt glow-in-the-dark posters? And we put them in our room and then beg our mom and dad to buy us a little black light. And then we turn out the lights in our bedroom and, oh, my God. I used to have, oh, this used to be so nice and colorful, but you can tell all my tattoos are, all the red's gone. Look, see all the red that used to be there? Look, all the, all the ink is completely just bled out. One of these days I need to go and, and recolor and modernize because these tattoos are almost 40 years old. Technology now. Oh my gosh. You see tattoos now, they look like decals almost. All right. So anyway, guys, um, I think storytelling a little bit about yourself. You know, you don't have to get out a book and read, you know, the Ten Commandments or or uh, Roots or the dictionary. But I think it's good to talk a little bit about yourself. You know, where you've been, what you've done, uh, what your thoughts are, uh, maybe what your experience level, you know, in Live Good or the multiple income. Uh, you know, I it doesn't matter. People like to relate a little bit. If you just talk about business, 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 people zone out. Okay. And people join people. Okay, even if we had a big seminar right now, we're not going to talk about uh, just business 99% of the time. We're going to take a little break, uh, take 15 minute break, take a lunch break, take a dinner break, maybe have a little get together after uh, the seminar and just, uh, you know, talk about ourselves, get to know each other. Okay, I, I'm a big believer of that. That's why I do a lot of video. I don't do like one video and I just keep it up there all week or all year. All right. I'm a big fan of like, hey, every day, five and extra 10 minutes, which I always do. No matter what, I make two hours of video. I've committed that to myself clear back about a year ago is when I joined Live Good. And I'm going to keep that commitment. No matter what, I always look at my clock. I try to do 10 minutes, 10 minutes, 10 minutes. So if I can do five to 10, 10 minute videos, okay, uh, it, it's kind of like conditioning. It's aerobics. It's something that I like to do. Okay, you can see what hat I'm wearing, what shirt I'm wearing, maybe what I'm drinking, what I what I learned today. Uh, can I tell you about a Zoom? Can I tell you about a meeting? Can I tell you about a technique or an email uh, campaign or an email I wrote? Okay, so I'm going to start doing that every single day. All right, I've been doing it, but I'm going to do like little tips, you know, the tip of the day. And I think they'll, they'll help you because I get a lot of inbox messages or emails. People just asking me simple questions. And I thought, well, why don't I just do the tip of the day or advice? Not that I'm the end all be all, you know, and hey, this is going to work. But uh, it, it does for me right now. And that's all I can attest to. Everything that I do on video or I suggest, it's making me money. And guys, if you're signed up in my downline, if you make more money, so do I. So it's a no brainer. Obviously, I want to give any advice or tips, secrets or gossip, anything to increase views or signups. Awesome. Okay, so tip of the day. This is the first one. All right, be yourself. Have fun. Tell a little bit of a story for a minute or two. You don't have to do a 20-minute little chit-chat, but you know what? Uh, let people get to know you and like you, trust you, all right, and join you. Sound good? All right, guys, have a good day.
and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Okay, we'll talk to you later. Bye.